What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna guide you through the sidebar usage in WordPress. So what is a sidebar? Sidebars are normally located in the right section of every blog, blog using the native WordPress template and in the single blog posts. They have widgets like search, Facebook, social icons, categories, tags. So how to build one? Go to our WordPress dashboard, appearance and widgets. Click on it and you will see all the sidebar tabs. Normally the main one is called just as sidebar or the full, this one. And you can full this section with widgets like I did. Search, test, tweets, recent posts. You can simply click on it, drag and drop in the area that you want. As you can notice, you have a lot of sidebar tabs. You have the sidebar event, the before footer, the side navigation, the WooCommerce sidebar for the shop page using this e-commerce plugin. You can have top section areas, footer areas, as I showed in another video. So what if in the case that you want to add some sidebar in a page that is full widget and do not have sidebar by default, like this one. As you can see, no sidebar in the layout. So you can do it manually. Go to pages, add new. Click on classic mode, go to the page builder, back end, add elements and select the raw element. In the raw, just select the column layout that you want. In my case, it will be this one. Let me add some content by clicking the plus button in the section. Um, just let me use the text block just to occupy some space. In the other plus button, click on it, open the element selector and click in the widgets at sidebar. Select the sidebar that you want, in our case will be the sidebar, the tab with the widgets that we previously added. And let's preview the page. Here we go. A page with a sidebar, just like the blog, the page set as posts page on your WordPress settings. So this page does not have the, the CSS edition and using the default WordPress CSS. How to do it better? Go to the widgets at sidebar element, scroll down the tab, and the extra class name type widget area, just like me. Save changes and we will load the team CSS. Let's preview. Hmm. Looks better, looks more professional. So you already have a sidebar in a custom page, so you are free to edit this page in the way that you want. Let me add it more columns on it let me move it to the left side let me add some space in the top section Make it small by creating a new column. You are totally free to add any element that you want, so your imagination is the key. You can add blog, you can add portfolio, just me 
Just let me add some slider into this page. Just an example. And I think I'm done here. So feel free to add any elements that you want. You are free to use the front end page builder, back end. So just make sure that this page is not your post page set on WordPress settings reading. This one will not be editable once uses the native WordPress template. And it is all the best.